Tis the season, right? Right? What's it? December uh, 13th? December 13th? 12 days till Santa comes. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire, right? Let's talk about some gifts. Let's talk about Christmas. Let's talk about some gifts, all right? Let's talk about some DJ gift ideas. This is a necessary video. This is a necessary once a year video that needs to be covered. Because DJs, we're hard to buy for, okay? We're hard to buy for. It's a niche thing. Nobody knows what to buy us. Nobody knows what to buy us. Everyone's like, oh, what do I get them? Uh, you know, we always get gift cards. It sucks. We never have gifts to open up as DJs. We always get gift cards because it takes a lot of research to figure out what the hell we want, you know? And there's a lot of things too. There's a lot of DJ things that like I wouldn't want to get bought for me because like maybe I don't like that one thing. I like this other thing or maybe I'm not, I don't need it right now. Like, you know what I mean? A lot of like what ifs. So I feel like it's a very good idea to talk about all the gifts that would be great for DJs for any of you looking to buy for a DJ, all right? So if you have a significant other or anything you want to share this with, appreciate it. Let me know. Let me know if I missed anything, right, as we go through this list, you know, or if there might even be a good idea that you might want to just buy your damn self, you know? Maybe you want to buy yourself a Christmas present. I'll give you a good idea here, right? I broke this up into three categories, and we're going to start with stocking stuffers. We'll start down here, and then we'll bring it all the way up, all right? Category one, stocking stuffers. A lot of good stocking stuffers for DJs, starting with air tags. Air tags are fantastic. They're little tracking devices, right? You put them in your bags, you put them in all the important things, your car, whatever. And now you always got to, you got a tag on them. They make noise. So if you wanted to like, let's say you wanted to find your keys, you know, you can go on the app and it'll make a noise. So you can find your keys or the app will bring you right to wherever it's at. So I have these on everything. I have one on every keychain, so I never have to worry about losing my truck keys, my car keys, my trailer keys. Um, I have one in every DJ bag. So every one of, uh, of my jet packs, I have an a air tag in. So if one ever grew legs, I can find that bitch and I have it buried in that, like buried deep. So you ain't, you ain't finding my air tag. It's basically sewn, sewn in to every bag. <laughs> So highly recommend that. That's the one thing that a lot of us, you know, take one of the biggest L's a DJ can take is like losing their computer bag or whatever. So you should have one in every computer bag and then anything else you could think of. Put an air tag in it, you know, you know, I don't know. Put, put one in your wife's purse if you're worried. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Anyway, air tags are very useful. They're relatively um, inexpensive. I think it's like $100 for four of them, or you can get like one for, I don't know, I forget the exact price, but it's not like crazy amounts of money. You can get one for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. Well worth the money. Um, another thing is USB cables. Uh, I love Chroma cables. They're by DJ Tech Tools. So look up Chroma cables by DJ Tech Tools. When I release this as a highlight, I'll put some like links, I guess. I don't have any links right now. Um, I, by the way, I'm not affiliated with any of these products. I'm not trying to make money or whatever. I, I, this literally just, I made up this list, list off the top of my head, uh, you know, kind of just to help you guys out, give you guys some ideas. That's all. So there's no, you know, there's no motive or, you know, I'm just, I'll drop brands, but it's really cause I like the brand. Okay. I have no relationship with any of these people. So Chroma cables, my favorite USB cable, the things don't die. Uh, they come in every color ever, which is really cool. They have that. This is a direct, you know, obviously a B2C, you know, if you don't, if you're not using a B2C, highly recommend it rather than using that, uh, you know, dongle or whatever. And, uh, and yeah, you know, so definitely a great stocking stuffer for DJs. The famous cable cuffs are also a great stocking stuffer. Could always use these always, always, always. I get them every year for Christmas. I try to anyway. I try to play at the seed because uh, we lose them everywhere. If you guys don't use these, they're for uh, organizing your wires. So you roll a wire, you put a cable cuff around it, and it stays rolled. It's beautiful. They come in a variety of different sizes. They have, you know, basically packs where you can get like, you know, five big ones, three small ones. You know what I mean? Like like variety packs and stuff you can get or you can buy them individually. And uh, yeah, never leave home without them. I love, love, love cable cuffs. Uh, and, um, you know, they're perfect little stocking stuffers, cheap little stocking stuffers. And if you're not looking to order, if you're trying to get them last minute, if you need a last minute gift idea, they almost always have them in stock at Home Depot and Lowe's. So you can run to Home Depot and Lowe's, you need a last minute stocking stuffer for your DJ, uh, significant other, run in there, grab some cable cuffs and you're good. Ear plugs is another one. Great stocking stuffer. Save your DJ's hearing. I literally am going to lose my hearing. I'm not going to lie. I really think I am. I need to start wearing earplugs. I've been saying it for years. I, I set my speakers up behind me. I, I deserve it. <laughs> I just, I mean, what am I going to do? Complain about it? But I think I am going deaf. Like, just If you still have your hearing, if you still feel like you're 100%, just don't 
get some earplugs. And they like th this one, by the way, these are like the shitty ones. I just did this as a graphic. I mean, there's a lot of really good ones out there. You can get custom ones for your ears. I mean, Google a bunch of stuff. I know Eargasm is a good brand. Um, and they have really comfy earplugs for a little more, you know, 30, 40, 50, upwards of hundred dollars for a pair of earplugs, but like, you know, legit ones where you can like hear better with them. They're not just like stuff in your ear with like foam. So, but regardless, we need earplugs. We need to wear them. Not enough of us wear them. Take them from me. So great stocking stuffer. Gaffer's tape is another one. I don't know. It depends how big the stocking is. If it's going to fit, this might have to be a regular gift. So it's kind of on the borderline, but never leave home without it. Um, you know, uh, pro gaffer is my favorite. Uh, again, when I release this as a highlight, I'll put some like links in the bio if you care, like what I use or whatever. But, um, you know, can't leave home without the tape. Got to tape the wires, people. And then pro tip. I've said it before on the show. Have a white roll as well. Okay. Not just a black roll, but drop a white roll. I just got a new white roll in. That's my favorite gaffer's tape right here, Pro Gaff. White's legit, okay? Especially, I mean, I was just, me and Santi's last wedding was in um, Avalon, New Jersey, down the shore, and it's like a shore place. It's like the whole place is literally white tile and blue. It's white and blue, the whole thing. It's super beachy, white and blue everywhere, white and blue. And So what am I going to use, black gaffer's tape everywhere? No, it looks shitty. Like, white gaffer's tape blended right in, looked great. Got a compliment on it, you know what I mean? Like, bring white as well, black and white. Go the extra mile. But yeah, so we got gaffer's tape. Oh, Listerine strips for all of your stank breaths. Some people chew gum, but I mean, I feel like as MCs, we need strips. You need strips are better. I like the strips. I'm a big fan of the strips. I don't like chewing gum. It hurts my teeth. And then on top of that, if I MC or anything like that, I'm not MC with gum, right? Who, who MCs with gum in their mouth, right? And, and, and I think chewing gum kind of like, especially in a formal setting, like, if you're DJing a club, it's one thing, but like, you know, you, you, if you're DJing a wedding and you're beat mixing, using your stems, it's kind of rude, you know? I mean, I mean am I being weird? I, I, don't, I think it's kind of rude, you know? Listerine strip dissolves on your on your tongue, gets rid of the stank-ass breath, and you keep it pushing. Nice and easy. Small, fit anywhere, big fan of them. Great stocking stuffer, but whatever. Choose, you know, whatever your DJ friend or significant other likes. You know, obviously get that, but that's what I like. But yeah, so that's the stocking stuffers. Now we're going to bring you up to level two. Level two, I like to call great gifts. <laughs> solid gifts for DJs. Level two, solid gifts. Okay. Solid gift ideas for any DJ. First being is a portable mixer. Oh, I hope Steph watches this episode. Portable mixer. So this is the Hercules Starlight, I believe. I think it's called the Starlight. Um, I'm not saying this. They, they make a bunch of them. I have like this thing called a Reloop re Ready. It's like right around here somewhere. Real small little uh, controller. I just think in general, it's a great idea and, and not too expensive either. Like this is a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? Um, some of them are hundred between, they're usually between a hundred and two hundred dollars. I think it's a great idea if you're not looking, if you're you know wondering what to get your DJ, whatever, for Christmas, get them a little portable mixer. And the idea is, is like, this is what you can practice with on a plane or this week you can put together a little set with, you know, just in the living room, hanging out. Like, it's always good to have a little portable mixer. You know, the big stuff, it's just a pain in the ass to set up. You know, it's, it's super robust. It's not necessary in every situation. There's plenty of times where, you know us DJs might want to just, you know, go over a set or just see if two songs mix together or, you know, just, just, I don't know, you know what I mean? Or just a lack of space. You're on a plane, but you got to make this mix. Th these things come useful. So it's not a lot of money, but like, you know, it's very useful. And I think it's like one of those things that like maybe your DJ friend didn't even know he needed it, you know, or she needed it, but you got it. And it's like, wow, I have all these uses for it. So I think it's a great idea. I actually kind of want the small one. I got the reloop ready and it's a great controller, but it fits on top of a 15 inch Mac and I'm selling my 15 inch Mac. I, I only have 13 inch Macs now. So like, it doesn't really like, you know, I used to use it for ceremony on top of my 15 inch Mac, but now I don't have that no more. So now it's just kind of like a, like a little too bulky for me. So I'm kind of figuring out my move with that. I really like the starlight. This might be my next move with that. And a lot of, a lot of DJs are ripping. I saw Chris via like doing, uh, doing orbitals on this fucking thing. <laughs> like, the dude's an animal, man. Love that guy. Um, headphones is another one. Headphones is a great gift for a DJ, right? Medium price. Headphones range anywhere from like 50 bucks upwards to three, four, five hundred dollars $500. I've been a V-Moda guy lately. I personally have a set of V-Moda M200s that I really like. Um, 
I think they sound good and they fit good on my head. I mean, but that's what me, like, I, I don't know if I would take my advice on headphones because like I have a big head and a lot of my headphone uh, critique comes with like how tight it fits on my head. I don't like loosey goosey headphones. I like ones that like, like, you know, like squeeze the side of my cheeks. So I don't got to like, you know, do this every five seconds. Like if I want to, I want to just toss it on my ears and it stays there. So I like a nice little tight grip on my head and um, V motors have that. But you might not like that. Now, if you want a loosey-goosey grip on your head, you might want to look at Pioneer headphones. They got the loosiest of goosiest headphones. They're all just blah, blah, blah. They sound great, but, like, they do not fit on my head. They're just they're just sloppy all over my neck and shit. <laughs> I don't want a necklace. I want a set of headphones. You know what I mean? I don't keep my headphones around my neck and shit. Like, I don't do that. So, like... You know, but do your research, you know, maybe pry a little bit, but a headphone's a great gift. It's like a medium price gift that uh, you can get your DJ. And a lot of DJs literally uh, have the same set of headphones for like 14 years and they've literally been through hell. They have like AIDS on them and shit. Like it's, <laughs> it's like disgusting and they still use them. It's like one of those, one of those things that DJs never upgrade is headphones. Like I've seen so many DJs with the same set of headphones for like their whole careers, like 10, 15 years, that same pair of uh, Technique headphones or the Sonys, those Sonys everybody used to use back in the day. They were good headphones, though. Good headphones. 360 cameras, another thing, or any camera, you know, uh, it, again, you know, medium price product. Uh, you know, all DJs need to make content. It's a big part of how we get booked and everything like that. So anything, you know, to do with content creation is a great gift idea for DJs in general. I just think a 360 camera is a good universal thing. You know, a lot of DJs don't have a 360 camera, but it's a great like you, you could set it up, set it, forget it, and then like go back and you'll have footage of your whole set and everything. And you get so many cool angles. You can get cool pictures of like, you know, your setups, places like it's a very versatile camera. It's very useful. This is an Insta 360 2X, I think, or something like that. Uh, I like the Insta 360s. They're really nice. Um, I know Rico makes a Theta, which is really good. But you know, do your research, see what you like. You know, they range from a hundred bucks all the way up to like a thousand bucks. So it depends on you know what you're looking to spend, obviously. Um, but for two, three, four hundred bucks, you can get a really solid one, in my opinion. So something to consider. Also, another cool gift is a gimbal. You get a gimbal for you know the iPhones or the Androids or whatever you put your phone on there. Super steady video. This is great for like Instagram stories or if you're filming TikToks, that sort of thing. You know, you toss your shit in a gimbal and, you know, you're smooth as butter, you know, and this is a cheaper gift too. It's like a hundred for the good one for the um, DJI Osmo or whatever, which is like the name brand one, I would say like a hundred bucks, I think 150 bucks in that range. So it's not like crazy, crazy money, you know, um, you know, and a cool little thoughtful gift. Definitely useful, fun for your DJ friend. And then, you know, if you want to take the gift card route, I think Indochino is a great idea. Indochino makes, uh, you know, custom shoot, uh, suits and stuff. You could do men's warehouse if you don't have it. I think you have to have an Indochino near you because you have to go get like uh, sized up. I don't think you can do like a virtual sizing. Maybe you can. I don't know. I've, all, I've only gone like in person or whatever. But if you don't have an Indochino near you, right, if you, you know, then men's warehouse or any suit place. But, you know, if uh, wedding DJs need suits. So if you're buying for a wedding DJ, they could always use a new suit, you know, nice little gift card, get them, get them, get he or she a suit or, you know, whatever, whatever they wear at weddings is always a good idea. And yeah, I spit fire through them. Those are, those, those are, those are the great gifts. Those, those are uh, all the uh, solid gifts, people, all the solid gifts, the great gifts. And that leaves us with one category. That leaves us with one category, and that category I call, I call, oh, you got money. <laughs> it's time for the, oh, you got money category, or, uh, or uh, gifts that will make your DJ shit himself. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Oh, but I like the, oh, you got money, right? So for the, oh, you got money ca uh, category, we got a couple gifts here. So here we go. We're going to dive right into it. A Pioneer Rev 7. We're just going to, we're just going to throw it out there. Pioneer Rev 7. Oh my God. Oh my God. MSRP is a $2,000. Greatest controller ever made in all the land. And um, if, uh, if your DJ doesn't have one, chances are they want one. So can't go wrong. Okay. I, if I, I would, uh, I would slap a DJ across the face if he got this as a gift and he was like, Oh, I don't, ugh, I don't like this. I'll slap him right across the face. 
Take away. Take away his hard drive. <laughs> you, I'd take his hard drive right away. You don't deserve this hard drive. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Give me that microphone. All right, so Rev7, 2000 bucks. Continuing on with the Oh You Got Money category. We got a brand new MacBook Pro for stems, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, you know, there's so, there's not a lot of people out there, but there might be somebody out there looking to, you know, maybe it's a, maybe it's your significant other and you really fucked up, you know, maybe you're trying to like really make up for uh, something you did, you know, maybe you're trying to level the playing field, you know, kind of, kind of help, you know, help out your own situation with a little bit of a bribe. Well, this will help brand new Mac for stems. Okay, looking to uh, anything that's going to handle stems is going to be in the two thousand dollar range and above, uh, eighteen hundred to and above. So uh, you know, pretty penny, but a fantastic gift nonetheless. Okay, and um, if you really want to go crazy, <laughs> get him a new van. Why not? You got money. Get him a new van. Ford Transit Connects are great. They get great gas mileage, right? They come out in the they come in the tall versions too. This is the short little bitch version. The tall versions, they're like 15 feet tall in there. It's crazy. I don't know how tall it is, but it's crazy tall. So you can have like a whole little uh, you know, truss attic up there and everything. Put your trusses up. Uh and yeah, you know. Nothing like a new van for Christmas, right? That'll make up for any um anything you messed up in the relationship, right? Just show show up with a white Ford Transit Connect with a big red bow on top. Bam. Bam. Or ladies, you're looking for the ring? Get the van. Oh, that's an instant ring. <laughs> that's a next day ring. <laughs> that dude, he's taking a loan out, using the van as collateral <laughs> for the ring. <laughs> oh, man. And also, um, if you need a last minute gift too, I, I can't not mention, I think it's a really good idea for a last minute gift. You know, if, you, you know, if you're a procrastinator, you're a last minute shopper, like I usually am, honestly. Don't sleep on Cameo. Cameo is a great place to get a DJ gift. There's all kinds of celebrities on there that do, that'll basically you pay them to say whatever the hell you want them to say. So, you know, you can go and get like anybody to be like, hey, so-and-so is my favorite DJ or get like DJ drops from them and stuff like that, which is really, really cool. I've gotten all kinds of cool drops in the past from Cameo that uh, make me look cool, but really I just paid, you know, $39 for them. <laughs> so, you know, it's definitely a fun, cool gift. Uh, it's exciting, you know, to get. And, uh, and yeah, you know, it's something that a lot of times you could see, like when you order something on Cameo, you could see like the celebrities will have like a turnaround time and say, oh, they usually turn it around in 48 hours, 24 hours or less or whatever. So like pick one that has like a quick turnaround time, but that's something that's a, a digital delivery you can get like within a day or two. So like last minute, you know, where like shipping's out of the question, you can't like order anything anymore. Great last minute gift. And, uh, you know, I'm sure your DJ will, uh, very much like it. 